Unit 12. Water Sports. Part A. Reading. Page 128. Water polo is played in a pool 1.8 meters deep, 30 meters long, and 20 meters wide, with a goal 3 meters high and at least 0.9 meters above the water. The goal is marked by vertical posts, a crossbar, and a net. There are seven players per team, six swimmers, and a goalie. The home team wears white caps, the visiting team blue ones, and the goalies wear red caps with the number one in white. Like football, the game begins with the ball in the center of the pool, and both teams sprint for it from their own goal lines. The ball can be advanced by passing with one hand or swimming with the head above the water and the ball between the arms so it rides on the wave created by the swimmer's head. No player except the goalie can hold the ball with both hands. Defensive players are not allowed to interfere with the opponent's movements unless the player is holding the ball. Major fouls are penalized by one minute in the penalty box and a player is ejected after committing five personal fouls. For minor fouls such as holding or punching the ball, a free throw is awarded from the spot of the foul. At least two players must touch the ball after a free throw before a goal can be scored. A game is divided into quarters ranging from five to eight minutes in length. After a tie, there are two overtime periods of three minutes each. If the game is still tied after the overtime periods, two teams continue to play three-minute overtime until the referee's decision is made. Part C. Listening. Page 132. Synchronized Swimming The great Australian swimmer, Annette Kellerman, student at the University of Wisconsin, planted the first seed of what was to become synchronized swimming when she performed a water ballet in a glass tank in New York in 1907. Catherine Curtis, an American woman, was very inspired by the new water sport. So she tried to get synchronized swimming added to the physical education program for female students. In 1923, she founded a water ballet club at the University of Chicago, and 60 swimmers of the club attracted national and international publicity. The sport quickly became popular among young women in Chicago. Curtis developed the competition rules based essentially on the scoring methods used in gymnastics and diving. The first recorded competition was held on May 27, 1939 between Chicago's Teachers College coached by Curtis and Wright Junior College of Illinois. Shortly afterwards, the Central Association of the Amateur Athletic Union, AAU, staged the first multi-team competition on March 1, 1940. The following year, the AAU officially accepted synchronized swimming as a competitive sport for team events. In 1946, the first formal national championships were conducted by the AAU. Synchronized swimming became an Olympic event at the Los Angeles Games in 1984. Part C. 
Listening, page one hundred thirty-two. Synchronized swimming. The great Australian swimmer, Annette Kellerman, student at the University of Wisconsin, planted the first seed of what was to become synchronized swimming, when she performed a water ballet in a glass tank in New York in nineteen o seven. Catherine Curtis. An American woman was very inspired by the new water sport, so she tried to get synchronized swimming added to the physical education program for female students. In 1923, she founded a water ballet club at the University of Chicago, and 60 swimmers of the club attracted national. And international publicity. The sport quickly became popular among young women in Chicago. Curtis developed the competition rules, based essentially on the scoring methods used in gymnastics and diving. The first recorded competition was held on May twenty seventh, nineteen thirty nine. Between Chicago's Teachers College, coached by Curtis and Wright Junior College of Illinois, shortly afterwards, the Central Association of the Amateur Athletic Union (AAU) staged the first multi-team competition on March the first, nineteen forty. The following year, the AAU. Officially accepted synchronized swimming as a competitive sport for team events. In 1946, the first formal national championships were conducted by the AAU. Synchronized swimming became an Olympic event at the Los Angeles Games in 1984. Part C, listening. Page one hundred thirty-two. Listen and repeat. Synchronized swimming. Annette Kellerman. Catherine Curtis. Chicago Teachers College. Wright Junior College. Amateur Athletic Union. Part C. Listening. Page one hundred thirty-two. Listen and repeat. Synchronized swimming. Annette Kellerman. Catherine Curtis. Chicago Teachers College. Wright Junior College. Amateur Athletic Union. Part E. Language focus. Page one hundred thirty-five. Pronunciation. Listen and repeat. Grandmother. Handsome. Castle. Postman. Family. Garden. Awful. Interest. History. Edinburgh. Practice reading these sentences. One, my grandmother is very interested in history. Two, there are a lot of old castles in Edinburgh. Three, I saw a handsome postman entering the garden. Four, my family paid a visit to that castle two years ago. Five, the meal was awful this evening. Part E, language focus, page one hundred thirty-five. Pronunciation. Listen and repeat. Grandmother. Handsome. Castle. Postman. Family. Garden. Awful. Interest. History. Edinburgh. 
practice reading these sentences. One, my grandmother is very interested in history. Two, there are a lot of old castles in Edinburgh. Three, I saw a handsome postman entering the garden. Four, my family paid a visit to that castle two years ago. Five, the meal was awful this evening.